So how many of you feel that you're a pretty good listener? Don't be bashful. You can raise your hands if you think you are. Okay. All right, good. So I want to ask you some question, listeners. Um, how many of you, you can just sort of answer yourself, um, interrupted, asked questions, listened with judgment, wanted to see where this whole thing was going and hope they would speed up, uh, get to the point, <laughs> wondering when a minute was finally going to be over because this is uncomfortable. And so if you answered yes to any of those, I think there may be some opportunity for you to grow in your listening. And I wanted to start off our conversation, our journey, our trek, if you will, around developing these agreements because none of this will happen if you don't continue to improve on your listening. Teams, organizations, companies, families, friendships all grow and die one conversation at a time. And we said that before back in September. And so the most important part of any conversation is the person who's listening. If you listen with judgment, you are not paying attention, you're not present. One of the problems that we're dealing with that I'm seeing, and I'm sure you are as well, that we're being bombarded with distraction. There's billions of bits of information coming at us every day, and the trick, the trick is how much can we blot out to stay focused on what's important? And so listening is one of those art forms that we're beginning to lose sense of because we are being so distracted. So I want you to try something else, same teams, same pairs, if you will. And I'd like for you to also take a minute, but in this case, I don't want you to say anything. All I want you to do is just look at each other for one solid minute. Don't think about it. Start. Okay, you can stop. <laughs> Felt like more than a minute, didn't it? So what was that like? What was it like being in, in this nonverbal communication for one minute? Very uncomfortable. Why is it uncomfortable? Because Sherry went in for a kiss. We're off to a good start here, Josh. <laughs> That's good. What else? Why is this uncomfortable? It's not natural, we don't normally do it. It's intimate, it's vulnerable. There's no pretense, there's, no, there's nothing to do except to just to be with somebody for a minute. You're not having to intervene, you don't have to judge, you don't have to say, you have no problems to solve, but just for one minute, take somebody in. And 97%, as they say, of, not, of communication is nonverbal. And so you were just having a nonverbal communication. It is part of what listening is about, is being present, getting in the moment, creating that safety. If we don't have that kind of safety, your conflict resolution won't go very far. If you don't have that kind of safety, your meetings are not going to be very productive. If you don't have that kind of safety, you may have the world's best written agreements about how you're going to work as a team, but they won't be implemented. So you've got to create that safety, and it starts with the individual. So there is a documentary I would really recommend you watch on Netflix. I just sort of fell into it one night with my wife. And it's called Ensay, I-N-N-S-A-E-I. -I. I'll write it up if you'd like. It means intuition in Icelandic. And it's about this woman who worked, I think, with the UN and had seen some pretty awful things in the world and decided to quit and to study and to study those who are studying this art form around intuition. And a lot of it has to do with communication. So three quarters of the way or halfway through this particular documentary, she shares the story of a performance artist who was from an Eastern Bloc country and been around for 40 years. And she's got this performance art piece that took place in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City, and a very simple kind of performance art piece. She put a chair in a room about this size, and the, the room was actually roped off, and there was ability for other people to walk around this big, huge, roped-off space. She put a chair in the room, in the middle, and then she had another chair right across from it. And she would just simply sit down in the chair and wait for somebody to summon somebody to sit across from her. 
And so somebody eventually would sit across from her and all she would do is look at the person like what you just did for as long as they wanted and to be present with them. And having that kind of presence for these people was extremely moving and the documentary shows the kind of metamorphosis that's going on with these individuals. It's for the first time these people really got heard, really got taken in by somebody else and just accepted for who they were. That's how they described it later. And so then eventually that person would leave and maybe that would take 10 minutes. Another person would sit down. Well, this little performance art piece got popular to the degree that there was a line going out the door down the street people just to get into this particular exhibit. It was like the iPhone 6 coming out where they would camp out at night. It was the most popular performance art piece in the history of MoMA. A woman sitting and just looking and listening at somebody else. No talking going on. So it just blew my socks. Something so simple could have such a profound effect on somebody. We and I certainly are not that gifted at listening, but it gives us a benchmark to shoot for, that we could probably improve our entire team's ability to work with other teams and ourselves if we could really get better at this art form called listening. So I wanted to bring that into our conversation today as the first step in our journey towards building a better team here.